Hello everyone, welcome to Piping Paradise. Today I will demonstrate how to provide Sava supports in a piping model. So for this purpose, let us make a simple piping model with some, uh, let us assume some uh, equipment nozzle. And basically Sava supports are provided to uh, protect the nozzle from the occasional conditions like seismic winds and etc. And it is basically uh, doesn't allow any sudden movement but it allows the thermal growth which gradually occurs so let us model a pipe and some supports like hanger guide and uh, to further dig into it you can check out my previous videos uh, where i have taught you how to uh, model the piping elements and supports and all the things so uh, here I am providing a hanger and a guide just break the elements and again I have covered all these things in my previous videos okay and some guide with a gap and just providing a restraint Okay, our uh, model is basic model is almost ready and uh, to provide a snava support the first thing we need is that we have to run the model without snava and get the thermal displacement uh, for the node where uh, we want to provide the snava supports. So okay, let us model the equipment nozzle and provide some uh, displacement. I am using here vector 1, just note it, it would be uh, accompanied by D1. So whatever supports, I would use the pro vector D2. Okay, now just model the counter flange of the equipment nozzle. And just put some weight. Okay, our model is ready and as I told you, we have to run the model without a snubber and note the operating displacement and suppose I want to provide snubber at the 25 so uh, let us run the model and note the values displacement values for the operating cases at note 25 okay so yes And uh, for the Snava supports, we have to modify our load cases a little bit. I would cover uh, this thing in my letter. Okay. And here is the result. Let's click on the operating condition and the restraint summary and let's check the displacement. and here is the hammer support and you just note the displacements yes dx dy dz okay just note it and return to our piping model again okay And now to provide snubber support just click on the restraint and the support type will, will be the last some uh, x snubber, y snubber, j snubber and the things are snubber support. So suppose I want to put a uh, let uh, x snubber so it would appear as a guide but the now we have to provide a connecting node. Suppose I am here putting 26 and here just click on the displacement and at the connecting node you have to specify the displacement values and as I told already I have here uh, added one vector so I am using here the vector 2 and it would be noted as D2 in the load cases and uh, for the x number I am putting the x values 
and please let uh, all other displacement be free don't uh, make it fixed okay and suppose you have some other uh, thermal conditions and you want to model another set of snubber you can use the other vector sets like 3 4 and so on and uh, this is the one dimensional snubber and suppose at the point we want to use another snubber at the z uh, I mean z dimension direction and so uh, it uh, just specify the node number here 25 again and choose z snubber and the connecting node would be same as the point is same so the connector node would be 26 and you have to uh, specify the vector at the z direction in the same vector and now you can see x and z are specified and all other let uh, free and just run the values run the model And now, where the occasional and operating load cases are, like operating plus seismic and operating plus wind, you have to specify. I mean, this the load. This is the load cases. You have to specify the D2. Okay, I mean the snubber cases corresponding to that particular thermal case. Okay, so as I am just showing one, and I already done all these things. So just specify the D2. You can uh, pause and uh, note the load cases how I defined and the snubber active option should be checked by default it would uh, it will be left blank but if you use snubber so you should be check it for all that operating plus occasional cases and let us analyze and now let us look into the result and click on the operating and the operating plus occasional case and go to restraint summary and if you look at the snubber node and you can see that the displacement are same for all the cases and what's happening uh, it is like snubber doesn't oppose the thermal movement and that's why the loads and the x and z direction are zero and when the thermal movement is reached and the occasional loads are coming into the piping model it's just oppose and that's why the dx and dz uh, displacement values are same for all the cases so that's it guys and one And one important thing, uh, the snubber input I have shown uh, for a, uh, I mean, uh, for the educational purpose only, but uh, for in the real case, you have to choose where you put the snubber. So that's you have to decide and accordingly you have to model the piping. So that's it for today. Thank you guys.